What if ghosts weren't people from the past, but people from the future? For a long time in this world, ghosts are mild annoyances, fluttering around the living like moths around a flame. They remember a few things from their future lives, but not everything. They wait impatiently for thousands of years to be born, listening to the language gradually become more understandable, watching the world gradually become more familiar. They can't affect the world much, except by talking with the living. And the living don't usually find much of what ghosts say useful. People who are curious about the future might seek ghosts out, but there are so many ghosts that it's hard to find one who knows anything immediately useful. But occasionally they do try to help. A ghost sees people struggling to transport materials, and shows them how to use wheels. And another teaches the living about sails. The most important of these, though, is a ghost who teaches how to write. She's been trying to teach this for hundreds of years, but nobody has really cared. But now that wheels and sails have become established, these people are trading a lot more often, and so writing is useful to keep track of things. She teaches merchants the script she remembers, and how to make records in it. After a few decades, a guild of merchants have a statue made for her in thanks, and as a finishing touch, they wrote her name on it, and suddenly she comes to life. Word spreads fast, and soon more ghosts are given bodies. These bodies aren't really alive, so they don't physically age, and they'll always look how the statue looked. The ghosts can still remember things from their future life, even if that future will now never happen. They can't catch diseases, and they can't reproduce. They can still die to starvation or physical injury. But mostly, they just live as long as their original lifespan, and then they turn back into statues. Many families start adopting ghosts, rather than having biological children. It's much less risky, and biological children take a lot of economic and time investment before they start contributing to a household. Ghost adoption just takes a few weeks at most. It's not that people stop having biological children, it's more that it's really easy to adopt a ghost and so the population of living ghosts can increase much faster than people made of flesh. And since living ghosts themselves can only reproduce through adoption, at some point the proportion of the population that are ghosts increases exponentially. Many ghosts are excited to live, or they remember an awful life and think anything would be better, so they'll give away their names to anyone who asks. But some ghosts are more selective, and will only give their names under certain conditions. Some ghosts remember friends from their future life, and will refuse to give their name until the ghosts of their friends are found and brought to life too. They can't just give away their friend's name, because if a ghost is too far away, it can't be pulled into the statue. Some ghosts have valuable skills, and will negotiate for lives of luxury. Rich families will promise wealth to ghosts with knowledge of future technology or specialised skills. They adopt ghosts with knowledge of arts and instruments of the future as a status symbol. Many of these ghosts speak a version of their language that is only just mutually intelligible with the present language. Adopting a futuristic dialect becomes a status symbol too. Poorer families hope to ascend in society by adopting a ghost with valuable skill, but most of those ghosts won't agree to give away their names, so these families borrow wealth and go into debt to attract a ghost hoping that the ghost's skills will help pay loans back. People can get incredibly rich from sculpting statues, or from being a scribe who writes names on statues, or from owning quarries, or from adopting ghosts who can sculpt and write. And then they can use these riches to attract richer ghosts, and so on. But human life would never have lasted forever in this world. The ghosts start to run out, thousands of years before they should. All the ghosts that just want to be alive have already come to life and died. All the ghosts with easy demands have had those demands met. The last person made of flesh died hundreds of years ago. Many of the remaining ghosts remember incredibly rich lives, sitting at the top of a pyramid of wealth. They won't settle for anything less, but there's nobody left who's willing to be at the bottom of the pyramid. The living need more ghosts alive because they're scared of the death of their civilization, and because their economy relies on a constant inflow of ghost labour. The remaining ghosts depend on the living to bring them to life, but not until their wealth is guaranteed. They remember history is always getting richer every year, so why not hold out for as much as possible? And so they settle into a stalemate. 
the living population dwindles, and when it gets too low, below a hundred or so, a few ghosts panic and give away their names. There aren't enough people to produce new valuable goods, so they devote their energy to small farms, just enough to subsist, scavenging the riches of the past. The last ghosts think a life like that is below their dignity, and then another few people die, and they see their chance at life slipping away, and they give away their names. If you visited this world now, maybe you'd see them. Kings of the future, dressed in ancient gold, herding goats through an abandoned city, the mausoleums full of statues with their paint flaking off, and the ghosts that wander the earth, holding out for a future that will never happen. Or maybe you'd like to visit another world and get to know their ghosts. This video is part of a Halloween collaboration with Lycan, Haunted Automaton, and Ewa from World Building Notes. We've all made videos where ghosts are people from the future instead of the past. The links are in the description. Hopefully their ghosts are doing better than mine. <laughs>